you can like I don't know I like to play chess and uh, you can be you know mad about playing chess and uh, you can think oh I will study chess and I will feel great all the time you are not going to feel great all the time you are going to lose the games you are going to feel bad about chess you are going to hate the chess but you need to continue you need to feel that bad emotions in order to achieve something meaningful because if mm. you study chess for three months then you switch to the bridge uh, car card games. Mm -hmm. And if you after that you switch to the Go and uh, then you start to coding for three months, you did nothing in one year. Okay, you did better than someone that did absolutely nothing, okay, yeah. that just watched movies. You did something. That's that's good. It's going to help you. But you are not going to make same amount of the progress if you just learned chess for one year or just mm -hmm. learned coding for one year. Yeah, I so, agree. Uh, tell us your story with chess. When did you first learn it? Oh, I was really young, so it's it's not my choice. I would say like this. I was a kid, you know, started playing with grandfather and uh, father, and uh, I started to be really good in it really fast. So I was talented, and I had good mentors at home. So mm. yeah, I was a national champion in the age of nine. So nice. Uh, si yeah, since since that point, I continued to play all the time uh, till I was. 20, so till I stopped to be junior, and I achieved master candidate rank in the age of 15. So that's like first oh. serious rank, I would say. Yeah. yeah I yeah. also, I also bet a few grandmasters. Uh, uh, it was like fast, uh, fast games, so blitz games and uh, simultaneous games. But I, I made some impact there. I also made chess club with two friends for training kids. So, but. Mm -hmm. In the age of 15, 16, 15, like it was first real choice. So I needed to choose, am I going to uh, sports high school and uh, to devote my life to the chess to become professional player or I'm going to normal high school, you know. So I chose normal high school. I wasn't so, so crazy about chess. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, basically after years of 15, 16, my game uh, didn't progress at all so uh, now i'm worse in chess than i was when i had 15. Mm -hmm. so because i stopped to train like yeah, there is yeah. one there is one point there is one point uh in chess in which you need to put really serious work so you need to start to work eight hours per day on the game yeah. so and i was at that point when i was 15 years old till that point i was really uh, i was really talented and i had great coaches so my, you know, progress was fast with, without a lot of effort. I maybe mm -hmm. played chess for, I don't know, 10 hours per week, something like this. So I had, you know, one or two trainings with trainer and maybe one, one hour at home and on the weekend, four hours, five hours of the game, you know, and nice. I was, you know, going up all the time. But yeah, then yeah. that point, that turning point came and uh, I just decided I'm not going to do it. I was more in uh, martial arts, so I wanted to be, you know, <laughs> great in that. And uh, what was your highest ranking that you achieved on tournaments? Uh, candidate master, it's like a highest rank. I was the first on national championship. I was first a lot of times on other tournaments. But so there are these uh, points that they give you on uh, ah, ELO, ELO rating. Yeah, yes. yeah. So I was uh, two, 200, uh, 2100. That's like 2100. Yeah, that's like candidate master. Yeah. Uh, in national, in national rating, there are two ratings national rating. So that's the better, uh, better measurement for kids because they don't play a lot of international competitions. So okay. National, I was uh, 2,100 in age of 15. And uh, ELO rating, I was uh, 2,090 or 2,100, I don't remember exactly, in age of 16, something like this. Mm -hmm. but How age of 15, can... I, uh, I yeah, played please. the strongest, I would say. 15, mm -hmm. 16, I was the strongest after that, you know, just straight Plateau. line and then... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Plateau and then a bit deep because I yeah. didn't give care so much now when i play you know for the club sometimes i play like an amateur i don't put so much effort you know just yeah, not yeah. calculating all I, that i need don't you know sweating so hard because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not going to you know make any money if i win or lose or yeah um, nobody's going to you, applaud me when you're on elo to over 2000 um yeah how much does one game affect your elo like does it drop by like 100 points or is it less yeah. like it depends on the coefficient <coughs> so <coughs> the amount of the games you played before 
Um, and uh, I think I always had quite high coefficient because my progress was fast. Mm -hmm. I was progressing uh, without playing a lot of games. I was constantly beating uh, players that had higher uh, LO or national rating than me. Yeah. So uh, it depends on the g number of the games you played and uh, I'm not sure but on the rank, uh, on the ELO rating you have, but just first 10 or 15 games you have crazy coefficient, just mm -hmm. first. Yeah. Just first one or two tournaments. After that, it goes down a bit. So, yeah, it's it's not a, like roughly, roughly. I was never too concerned about ELO rating because uh, I was always concerned about uh, winning tournaments and long term process. Mm -hmm. That was the way I I was uh, thinking. Not like you. I will, I will now make a draw to get uh, five yellow points. I, I was never calculating this. I was always mm -hmm. trying to play the best as I can. And that's the only way you can constantly constantly go up in the chess. Because if you start to calculating in every game how much elo you are going to lose or win, yeah. it's going to affect your emotional state and your capability to calculate the right moves. Mm -hmm. So you are going to play uh, weaker than you can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, on average, on average, like, one game, 10 elo points. But it also depends on uh, Depend, yeah. your opponent so mm. hey thanks for watching this video if you want to see the full version go to the uncle gold podcast youtube channel or watch the next clip